Good morning and once again welcome to my YouTube channel Pearson and Excel International Math by Mr. Kamoko. And in this video I will be explaining the very last example of pure mathematics 2 international uh, advanced level and we'll be dealing with topic number 2 the very last example coordinate geometry and we are on page 42 and in this example we're talking about the points 3 16 q and r as shown lie on the circumference of the circle the equation of the perpendicular bisector of pq the equation of the perpendicular bisector pq is y is equals to 2x we have the point p q and r lying on the center of the on the, the circumference of the circle uh, of course the diagram was not given i've just tried to put up a diagram and i thought that point r since it has the least value of x which is negative 7 it has to be on the extreme left and point q has to be on the extreme right because it has the the highest value of x which is 11 and point p has to be in the middle and of course uh, uh, the highest point on the y-axis because it has 16 as the value of y so we are told that the perpendicular bisector of pq is y is equals to 2x as shown so this equation this this line rather is having this equation because it is the perpendicular bisector which bisect that this line pq into two equal portions and right at the middle and at 90 degrees so the first question is find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of pr and then you realize that pr is this line so we need to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of pr and we sketched that line perpendicular bisector pr and we realize that it is must be passing through the center because it must bisect line pr into two equal points and must be perpendicular to pr having said that then the very first step um, we say it let the line be l1 the, the the very first step is that the line l1 must then be passing through the midpoint of pr so the first step we need to do is to get the midpoint of pr which is point m the midpoint of pr which is x x2 plus x1 so 3 plus minus 7 and y2 plus y1 which is of course 3 minus 7 is minus 4 over 2 which is minus 2 and this is 22 divided by 2 which is 11 so we got the coordinates of L uh, of point M, which is the midpoint of PR, as 2, 11. But then, even having realized the coordinates of the midpoint of uh, PR, which is point M as 2, 11, minus 2, 11, we realized that we still needed the gradient of PR because one of the very fundamental items that we should always have when you are calculating the equation of a straight line is the gradient at least and uh, one more point one point through which the line passes so we realized that we needed the gradient of pr and this is what we calculated here change in y that means 16 minus 6 which is 10 all over 3 minus minus 7 which is 3 plus 7 which is also 10 and we found the gradient of pr to be equals to 1 and because pr is perpendicular to the bisector which we called l1 then and we know the nature of the gradient of two perpendicular lines the product is negative 1 so we found out that the gradient of l1 if this is 1 then the gradient if the gradient of pr is 1 then the gradient of l1 must be negative 1 we found out that having said that um, we took a general point x y through which l1 passes and we equated the gradient and we said 
the change in y we probably took let's talk about this particular point here we call it x y let's call that particular take this particular point call it x y so the change in y over the change in x it should give us the gradient of that particular line so y minus 11 all over x minus minus 2 should give us negative 1 and therefore cross multiplying here we got y minus 11 is equals to minus x minus 2 and we collected the like terms and we realized that the equation of the bisector of PR which is now L1 is y is equals to minus x plus 9 at that particular point we were ready now to face question part b because part b is asking us find the center of the circle and one thing you remember is that um, we said if we happen to have a circum circle that means a circle passing through the vertices through the vertices or the three vertices of a triangle like we have p q r is a triangle we just need to complete it over there so this is a circum circle to get the center we only need to bisect any two sides like we have done here and this other one and then find find the point of intersection of the two perpendicular bisectors call it point o and o is happening to be the center of the circle and now that we have this equation we have the equation of this bisector and now we have which is y is equals 2x and we have the equation of uh, this bisector which is here we equated that at the point of intersection the two equations must be equal so we have to solve them simultaneously and we say 2x which is this equation must be equals to minus x plus 9 which is now this equation at the point of intersection and we solved them simultaneously and we realized that our x 3x is equals to 9 and x is equals to a positive 3. we then substituted this x in any of the original equations avoid uh, substituting it in the equation that you have calculated yourself you may be advised to substitute the value of x in the equation that you are given because you could be wrong and then you extend mistake but the moment you substitute it of, over here in the equation that is given in the question then you are very sure that this is the right equation so 3 y is equals to 2 x which is 6 and the center of the circle which is in terms of a x y or generally known as a b is 3 6 which happens to be the coordinates of the center of the circle part c work out the equation of the circle uh, for us to work out the equation of the circle we need the radius and we need the center of the circle and we realize that the radius is any line from o to the circumference of the circle and q happens to be on the circumference and o is the center of the circle so the the magnitudes of this line oq radius which is line oq is supposed to be given by the square root of um x2 minus x1 11 minus 3 squared plus 12 minus 6 squared which is 11 minus 3 is uh, I think 8 squared plus 6 squared this you can already see is the root of 64 plus 36 the root of 100 which is 10 and that is the radius that is the radius the, the magnitude of the radius of the circle so therefore the equation of the circle happens to be x minus general x a which is 3 squared plus y minus b which is 6 squared plus which is equals to now the radius squared which is 10 squared 
at the end of the everything, you will realize that the equation of this circle is x minus 3 squared plus y minus 6 squared is equals to 100. And that is the equation of that circle. Please note the levels. Please note the levels we have, uh, we have engaged ourselves into. We have been able to calculate the equation of that circle through the midpoint and uh, appointing a general point. We have been able to solve the two equations of the perpendicular bisectors simultaneously to get the coordinates of the common point which happens to be the center of the circle. And of course, we have been able to use this particular point center and one point on the circumference to calculate the radius. And here we are. And by extension, we have been able to acquire the equation of the circle, which is here. At the end of the day, please follow, subscribe, and uh, share widely. And let us walk together. All right?